ambitions. That uh, was one of the last things I thought I'd be doing. I love California. I never thought I would leave here. You know, the Great Commission was something that I, I knew. It's a call for all Christians, for all the church. But at the same time, I always thought it was for someone else, that someone else was supposed to do, right? Like people who are holier, uh, have more gifting, that are just better in all sorts of ways. Well, so I'm Korean American, second generation. Uh, so my parents immigrated from Korea to Argentina and then America, but this is where I was born and raised. And so one thing that I've been seeing as I travel around the world, as I visit different missionaries, different mission fields, or even interact with internationals here in America, is that something that I had no choice in. I didn't choose to be Korean, didn't choose to be born in America. These are just the kind of the God-given facts of my life and who I am. There are ways that I think God can use this. And so depending on who you are, how you've been raised, but for me, Korean American. And so it reminds me a lot of Paul, who writes about being Jewish and Roman. He used kind of his dual identity to minister uniquely. He was gifted in this way, again, something he had no choice in. It's the nature of where he was born at the time he was born and who he was. Right? But he uses it to minister to Jewish people, to Roman citizens, to gain access to places that he can gain access to. So as a Korean American, I really think right now, in the second generation, there is kind of a unique place that God has placed us. Uh, we were raised in America, so we're American educated, we're English speaking, and English is still a major need around the world. And so it's a very easy access point uh, to minister to people all over. And in many countries, if you can teach English, you get access to the people, because it's a, it's a very felt need. And so through that, many missionaries reach out, teach English, teach the Bible, spread the gospel. Right? And so that's something that we, like other Americans and other English speakers, are able to do. But what's really funny is right now, Korean pop culture is so popular throughout the world, especially Asia. And so I was first encountering it in America, where as a teacher I would get uh, international students, and by, by virtue of who I am, they would want to start learning Korean from me. And so they would want to talk about Korean music and dramas and shows, and I've experienced the same thing overseas. And so the popularity of Korean culture, the necessity of English as a language, I mean, they might seem silly, but it's ways that God made us who we are that has this draw in the world right now. And as Christians, is this something we can use? Right? Something we had no choice in, but God sovereignly ordained to use for His kingdom, for His glory, and to spread His word, and His truth. One thing that became abundantly clear to me was that uh, I'm very ordinary, but a, redeemed by an extraordinary God. And so he, he sovereignly planned all this out. And so for me, being Korean American is one of uh, the unique ways he made me and called me to missions. And this made me really wonder for everyone else, what is it? What's it for you? What are the ways that God made you and prepared you for his good works and to grow his kingdom?